Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of these. Um been a while since I've done one of these close up, so hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Um or so the radio show. Um it's been far too long um that I've actually so I did my hello a lot hello welcome back one um so um jump back one so yeah so hello everybody welcome back to um the radio show and welcome back to the Kamoz Auto Wonder Radio Show shall I call that that um so yeah so hello everybody, welcome back. Um I am feeling happy today. Um so yeah, so my day was action packed. Did a couple of things. Um I went to the bank, I walked around a little bit. Um I also went to Target, purchased this because my Joy-Con controllers are my Joy-Con controllers suck. Those of you guys remember, um, those of you guys who guys remember the, uh, the right one was, um, the right one had a, see if you guys can see that, that see that right there, that the right one had a hairline, a hairline crack in it. That one actually has plastic little balls in there so it won't break. Thank God. Um, and it's actually not the first style one I have with one of these. This is for, this is the Razer mod for the iPhone. Um, so yeah, I've had this for the iPhone if I want to play um, something. I can't play Pokemon on it for some odd reason. I got to do that by hand, unfortunately. Um, as you guys can see, I have, a, I have the beard going on. I have the beard going on. Sorry to take it off topic, but I have to shave this beard tonight before I go to work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I did that. I also got an expansion card for. I also got one myself. One of these was the box. Um, don't know where I put the box, but uh, oh, wait a second, did I put the box in there? No, no, no. Um, I got one of those, you're probably not going to see it, but that thing right there, um, that thing right there, um, that little tab is an expansion card. I had to buy that for $189 because the Seagate won't do, won't do jack crap. So had to get that for had to get that, and I was going to get the two terabyte one, but then I looked at the $360 price tag. Yeah, so, um, the Seagate's going to be good for media storage, maybe movies and something, maybe movies, maybe, um, and stuff like that, and maybe the occasional game. Um, I can't put any games on it anymore, because that sucks. Um, so yeah, the two, so that one terabyte thing will do, uh, games. I already put, um, uh, five horizon five on there already. I'm only going to put a couple of games on there. Um, it's mostly going to be for movies and stuff like that. If I don't want to do that, because what's happening is this is so old. This is. This thing is so old now, it's unreal. We've had that since 2014. So we've had that, count with me, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. I'm not even done for five years. 2019, that's six years. 2020, that's seven years. 2021, that's eight years. 2022, that's nine years. Can't be 
No way. Eight years, nine years. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're not supposed to count the, the first one, genius. So, so yeah, nine years we've had the PS4. Um, so, nine years we've had the PS4. Thought it was time for something a little bit different. Um, the Switch I've had since 20... The Switch is actually the youngest, actually the second youngest. The, um, let's see, the Switch is the second youngest. Um, this is, this was purchased in 2015, about two years after I bought this one. About two years after I bought this. Um, but 20, yeah. Yeah, 20 years after I bought my 20 years, I'm making it sound like it's a freaking N64. Um, so I bought that two years after I bought the original. Well, after I got the first one for Christmas, I bought that one myself. Um, so I bought that one myself. Um, so that's over eight years old now. Um, yeah, so that's over eight years old now. So that's. So the youngest console is the, um, so the youngest console is the Nintendo, um, is the Xbox S, and then the second old, and then the second youngest is the, um, in my arsenal, the second youngest is the, um, Switch, which is 2018, um, which is, yeah, 2018, so... And then the PS1, which is buried down there in the second shelf. Buried down there in the second shelf somewhere. That's been around since 1997. So, yeah. I remember that. 1997. Um, yeah, I remember NASCAR 97. And I remember NASCAR 98 came out in 97. Because they wanted to jump ahead in front of the uh, race cars for the years. So I remember 97. So that's the oldest game system we have. But I just want to try to do the math on that one. I've had, well, it's not actively. Um, well, I can do the math for you guys right now if I wish. Let's see, 1997. 2007, that's 10 years, 2017, yeah, 2017, that's 20 years, and then, um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, so PlayStation 1 still works, by the way, because if you put the PS4 setup on there, and you put the, the tugs on you can actually get to work and there's actually driver in there and driver still works after all these years 26 years on holy snipes it's really good so um so yeah that's what i did today oh yes by the way i did oh one other purchase i just wanted to just mention very very quickly so you know how i bought that i bought this thing my Victor Roller Journey, which is a nice $50 value, by the way. And told my parents I wasn't going to buy any records because we have a bunch here. But I decided that I was going to get my first album. And I decided to get this, Bad Larry. Credence Career Water Revival. One of my favorite bands of all time. If there's any Vietnam era music to be played, that band right there is the best one to have. Hands down, my favorite band for music. They are really good. A lot of people think, oh, a lot of people sit there and think, oh, you're into Frank Sinatra, you're old school. You will, you like stuff from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s. That's old. Frank Sinatra is great. He's amazing for certain amount of songs. Don't worry, I don't hate him. 
his music's great and the way he dressed was great um the way he treated the way he saw women as objects of love and and lust i didn't really like that because he was a misogynist sexist dinosaur so um these guys on the other hand for the seven years they were there the seven years that those guys actually were were actually playing, they actually did some very good music. Bought that album today for thirty dollars. Yeah, probably cost probably five back in the day, but probably. But but I don't know the prices because I didn't live back in nineteen seventy six when that was released. Four years after they disbanded, disbanded. So. Uh, I think they did a couple of reunions um, after they disbanded, maybe a couple of times. But um, I think it's because I think it's because Tom John's brother didn't really like them. They really like the fact that he was not letting them create their music, and he was controlling all the shots, which led to him leaving. And they, just, they still played some amazing music. That was in 1971. So most of the songs on that on that record were when he was in the band. It was a four-man band of... Four-man band. Great music. So I actually, I actually listened to about uh, eight songs, including Bad Moon Rising, Fortunate Son, Proud Mary... Traveling band, and I put a spell on you, which very, very good. And now, unfortunately, because I cannot, you guys will have to give it a listen for yourself. Either if it's CD and vinyl form, I do recommend doing that because I can't do it because stupid YouTube will copyright copyright strike me. Unfortunately, and. I get asked to this day if it is kid friendly. Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I listened to I listened to freaking Clint, Clarence Clearwater Revival when I was a kid. I love the music. There was no, there was nothing, there was nothing bad about it. It's some great, it's some great music. And then I learned it was great Vietnam era music because a lot of the Vietnam vets we, a lot of the Vietnam vets you talk to, remember the song as being the soundtrack of the war so um because bad moon rising fortunate son um and a bunch of other ones really 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 good um really really good primary another one um and many others. Um, I still haven't listened to the second, to the second one. I will listen to the second one later uh, later this week, and I'll give you guys my review of it. But yeah, those are the things I did today. Um, I also went for a walk. I actually, I then I went to Jerry's Pizza to have to get a ten inch meat lovers pizza, which cost me fifteen bucks. So yeah, I spent a lot of money today. So. So yeah, I spent like I think I spent like um So yeah, I think the capture card was $189. That was another that was another 40. That was another 40. That was about 240. That's another 30. It was about 200. So I spent about $286. Uh, and then the pizza was about 15 plus, was another $15, so, 95, so I've spent like $301 today, so, it's an expensive day for me to spend money, and I'm not going to spend any more money this week, because I already have, uh, I'm actually not going to Uber Eats the rest of this week, because I have enough sandwiches and enough food at the house, I wanted to, so, um, so yeah, um, I'm hoping to have a good week work-wise this week. I don't care what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have, I just feel like we're in the best part of the year. Um, I'm going to do whatever it takes 
ads. I'm just not going to, I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and do, do very good this week. So, um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I am going to, oh yes, by the way, I am going to release, um, I am going to release, uh, Mafia Definitive Edition Episode 2 tonight. So it'll be up. So it'll be up maybe in, I don't know, half an hour maybe. Half an hour. It'll be in, and then you guys can have it till, then you can have it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try to record these and try to try to put them out maybe a little earlier than, than that. I'm trying to try, I'm going to try to put them out earlier in the morning. Um, or in the morning. I just going to start out slow. I've already done two Gran Turismo video. I've already done a uh, Gran Turismo video um, and a Settle Corsa video, which is a race car game. And now I'm going to do another, another regular gameplay video. Um, so we can have uh, fun. So we can have more fun. Um, talked about racing news yesterday. So I think we're all good about that. Um, the Gear Change Show will will, res will resume on Saturday. Um, I'm planning to record an episode um, for the radio show. Um Cause I actually have to, cause I actually have to talk about the Corvette ZR1 and um, the Corvette Zora twin turbo hybrid that's gonna be that's gonna be coming out and Dodge's new Demon 170. Talk about major. Um, we're talking about major horsepower. I'm just gonna give you guys. A bit of a disclaimer. I'm probably going to give some kooky disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Probably for me. Probably. Probably. I'm probably going to show you guys a burnout of a, of a car that's that's doing its burnout and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a I'm just going to give you guys a warning, and I'm just going to give you guys a heads up. We're gonna be talking about extreme horsepower next in the next episode in the next radio show episode. So you guys don't go away. And I'm gonna find out a kooky way to say all this crap tomorrow. So I hope you guys are strapped in and buckled up. Because we're gonna talk about major horsepower tomorrow. Hybrid and non-hybrid. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Peace out everybody, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Peace.